Hey guys, welcome back to another deck profile. I'm Richard, and today we're going to be going over my updated Aerial Divine at Altmile deck uh, with both V Clan collection and um, some promos, some shop promos coming out in recent support. I want to show you guys what my updated Altmile deck looks for, for V Premium. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. Starter as a tradition is going to be Shining Knight Milius. Uh, any starter obviously works, but this is the one that came in the Altmile Child deck, so it fits the aesthetic, and it was the starter for uh, Altmile in the early days. So if you're playing Vanguard Zero too, you're gonna get some aesthetic out of this as well. All right, on to grade threes. We are running four copies of our main boss, Aerial Divine Knight Altmile. Altmal's skill is continuous. If you have all face down damage, your grade twos get 10k power, 5k shield, and then if you have an Altmal on the soul, uh, they all get an extra crit as well. So the whole deck, uh, if you don't know already, basically the whole theme is to have all face down damage as much as possible. So the more that you pay your counter blast, the better the deck gets. So that's great. The second skill is Van once per turn, counter blast one, soul blast one. Search your deck for one grade two, and then search your drop for another grade two. Call them to rear and shuffle your deck. So you get two grade twos, you get to recycle the ones from your drop, and you get to thin out your deck by pulling out more from the neck. So this is just a really awesome toolbox card and toolboxy style deck. It is kind of weird that it is very grade two reliant, but that's kind of been Alt Miles thing forever. So it's kind of cool. Uh, that's pretty much it. The whole goal of the deck is to make um, columns of grade twos because you have a grade two that gives all your grade twos boost. So now you have 20k boosters, 20k beaters, 40k columns, and with force one or two, depending on what you choose to do, probably force one, 50k columns. They're all getting a crit because of alt mouse skill. So you have these big numbers, a lot of pressure from your opponent, and your opponent has to kind of figure out what to do with all those big numbers. So that's pretty much it. That's kind of the goal of the deck. Uh, just sit on Altmile and swing with uh, big grade twos. Since you do need Altmile in the soul for the grade twos to get their crit, we want to run more Altmiles. So we have three copies of Blue Sky Knight Altmile, the one that came in the trial deck. Van or Rear, continuous during your turn. If you don't have any face-up damage, it gets 15k power. So it's an 18k beater on its own, which is really dope. 90, 28k beater, my bad. Um, so it doesn't gain a crit, from Amal's skill, but it's fine. If you're pushing for damage, it's still really good. It's a really great early game card. You could call this out with Suleiman or Edith. So great rear guard nonetheless. Vanguard skill, if you write it, is counter blast one once per turn. Discard a card from your hand. Search for two grade two cards from your deck. Reveal them. Add them to your hand and you shuffle your deck. So you're still getting your combo pieces off. You get to, you know, search out your deck for what you need, but for the most part, you do need to, you do want to be on the Aerial Divine Knight Alt Mile. Um, this is just so like you don't you know get grade locked, and then also you need Alt Miles in the Soul, so more targets. Next up for Grade Threes, four copies of our Innocent Ray he Dragon Heal Triggers. Uh, Innocent Ray is one of the new support cards from the Clan Collection Volume One. Uh, it's a Heal Guardian. What Heal Guardians do, they all do the same thing. Is when placed from hand on the guard circle, if you have not ridden the grade three yet, you can choose your vanguard uh, to give it 10k, or you can choose from your opponent's unit that's attacking and it gets minus two crit. The 10k lasts on your van for the entirety of your opponent's turn, which is dope. It's like basically a trigger. And then the second skill is when it's placed uh, onto the rear guard circle from hand. If you don't have any cards in your damage zone at all, Put the top card of your deck face up in your damage zone. So to give you counter blast. The damage denial is really non-existent in V Premium as far as I know. It's mostly like a premium thing for the most part it seems. But it is nice that the effect is there. For the most important thing though is that it is a heal guardian. And while you're being aggro you can also be super defensive by calling these from your hand. Giving your vanguard 10k for the turn kind of help you save up on some resources. So Heal Guardians are great, so you should try and definitely get your hand on those if you can. On to the Grade Twos, which is the majority of our deck. Starting up, we got three copies of Counter-Offensive Knight Suleiman. Suleiman's skill is um, 
When it's placed on the Vanguard Circle, you can look at the top seven cards of your deck for an alt pile, and you call to rear, and then you shuffle your deck. So you don't have to call it, so you don't get to add it to your hand, which is unfortunate, but it still helps with Edith's skill to kind of move it into the soul if you have Edith on board or ready at some point. Still having an alt pile on the board does help, you know, kind of make more attacks, so that's nice. Um, other than that, that's kind of as far as it goes with um, the on ride ability. The second skill is Vanner Rear. Uh, when it attacks, you Soul Blast 1, return a rear guard uh, back to your hand from a different column in this unit, and then you add 5k to Soul Man. So if you called out Alt Mile, let's say you search out your Divine Knight. So even though you didn't add it to your hand, you can still use Soul Man's skill to bounce it back afterwards. So you swing for 13. Swing, Soul Blast 1, bounce this back to hand. Now you have your right target for your next turn. Or you can add out, you know, Blue Sky Knight. If you don't have any face-up damage, it's a 28k beater. You bounce it, now you have a Blue Sky Knight in your hand. So that's nice. Uh, Suleiman's a great on-ride card. The second skill for the bouncing is okay for the power, but since we're more looking for other grade 2s for more versatility, since alt Mile is like a toolboxy kind of deck... We're only running three just to kind of make some space. And then on to the next grade two, which is pretty much the MVP of the whole deck. We have Starlight Violinist. So Starlight Violinist skill, most important card of the whole deck basically, is if you don't have any face-up damage, all of your grade twos on your rearguard circles get boost, and they can intercept from the back row. So if we're going to combine this skill with alt Mile, you now have grade twos with 20k power, they can boost each other, they all have a crit, and they can intercept from the back row with an extra 5k shield from Arrow Divine Knight. So these two cards are like bread and butter. You know, they're the two cards that make the whole deck function. So we want to have three, even though, you know, you can search out more copies. There's other, there's cards like Hope Song Angel that search out your Vinyl Lennis, but just in case, you know, some end up in... Damage zone, you got two in damage, but you need a violence to make your deck work. It's a good idea to have multiple copies just to guarantee the success of your deck. So that's why we run three. Next up, we're going down to our two ofs. So we got two copies of Absolute Blade Fight Libero. Yes, that's how you say his name. Forgot for a second. When it's placed from hand, Count Blast uh, 1, Vanner Rear. Search your deck for a grade 2, call to open rear, shuffle your deck. If you don't have a face-up damage, you Soul Blast instead. So it's nice that it still works with the whole having face-down damage aesthetic of Alt Mile. So that way you can still Soul Blast and still search out grade twos. Um, it doesn't work when you call it from deck or drop. So that's why we're not really maxing it out. Uh, it also can only call to open rear. So you have to kind of really time it well with how you're going to call this. Call it, call another grade two. So this is really, for the most part, a really good booster um, and a really gamer really good early game card for when you're trying to set up your board. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's why we're running two copies of Livero, and then we just need all the other space for the other grade twos we're running. Next up, this is a shop promo that you may or may not have gotten or heard of. Uh, Knight of Chivalry Rabble, Rabal, Rabel, something. Uh, the first skill is pretty dope. It's continuous front row, rear guard circle. All of your back row rear guards cannot be retired by your opponent's card effects. So this helps keep your Starlight Vinylinus alive in the back row. So that way you don't have to worry about losing that as a, you know, thing. So that, that way your rear guards can still intercept from the back row. Because without Starlight Vinylinus, your back row grade twos can't intercept to help you during your defensive turns. Uh... Rabble's second skill is when it's placed on rear during your main phase. Count Blast 1. Choose a non-grade 2, put it on the bottom of your deck. Draw two cards, then call something to a rear guard circle. So that helps because you can put uh, the grade 1s that you called early game back in your deck just to draw some more cards. Fill up your board with another grade 2. You can put triggers back, which is also cool. So there's a lot of versatility with this card. That's why I'm running it at 2. Um... It works when you call it through Alt Miles Skill from the drop or the deck, so it's a good search target. But if you really don't need to build a board, there's other obvious grade twos that you want to run or want to pull out during the, the during your turn. But if I do end up damaging one, I like to have the second copy just as like a resource builder. 
And even if you want to, you can just call out two of them. You know, the skill's not once per turn, so it helps build your board that way, helps flip down your counter blast. Overall, it's just a really good card. So now we're on to the one ofs. There's a lot of one ofs in this deck. We got one copy. I'll start putting them over here. I think. There we go. No, I'll just leave them in the middle. Uh, Explode Jewel Knight Lily. Lolly, Lily, something like that. Uh, Rearguard Circle, when it attacks, you put two normal units from your drop back to the bottom of your deck. You Soul Charge one, this gets 5k. This is really important for when you're at the point of the game when you're like, I need more soul for all my skill. Um, and also more grade twos. If there's a specific grade two that you're like, oh, I want to be able to call it from the deck and the drop just for all my skill to make it easier, you can pick, you know, those two grade twos and then it helps you recycle in that regard. Second skill is Van or Rear. When another unit's placed on top of this unit, excuse me, the unit placed on top gets 10k. So if you're just kind of just pulling this out just from skills, but you want to call something else, boom, you call something on top of it, and that way you still get a power bonus out of it. All your grade twos get an extra 10k and a crit on top of that, so now you have a 30k grade two with two crit. It's pretty dope. Um, but most importantly, it's there for the soul charge, the recycling, it's a one of because you can search it out depending on what you need. But if you really don't need the recycle for the soul, you still have other cards, such as Die Connect Dragon, Grade 2. It's basically the same thing as Pongol. It's when it's placed, if you have another unit in the same column, Soul Charge 1. If you Soul Charge a trigger, this gets 10k. So it gets 10 instead of 5, like Pongol. So it's better. Uh, so now you have a, a 30k booster if you have this in your back row. So that's cool if you Soul Charge a trigger. Even if you didn't Soul Charge trigger, that's great. That's just keeping more triggers in your deck. Uh, but yeah, so basically, if you need the Soul for the Soul Blast for Altmaul skill or for Liveros skill, you have access to Die Connect Dragon. And next up, we got Hope Song Angel, the one of. Hope Song does one thing and one thing only, and it gets you your Starlight Violinist. So it's act once per turn, count blast one, search for a Starlight Violinist from your deck, and call it. Easy peasy. Uh, it just helps you search it out. So more paying, paying costs for count blast, keep your damage face down, gets you your Violinist. The one of works fine uh, because you can search grade twos pretty much anywhere, so it doesn't really matter. So it's just there for more resource management. Next up, Knight of Determination, Lamarack. So the reason we have Lamarack is there are going to be some games where your opponent pushes you really hard and you have like four face-up damage right when you start your all-mile turn. And you let's say maybe you can only pay like two Counter Blast Max, right? You use the alt-mile skill on Van and you use like... Uh, something from like Robble and Hope Song and you you just you just need a way to make sure you have all your damage face down, right? And you're like, no matter what I do, there's always one face up damage left. That's where Lamarack comes in handy. You use something to search out Lamarack, either Altmile or Livero or something, and you just use Lamarack skill over and over and over until all your damage is face down. So what it does is act, if you have five or more units, Cannon Blast 1, this gets 10k. And it's Axe, so you can do it over and over and over and over. So you keep doing this until all your damage is face down. So Lamarck's a great card just for that circumstance. Other than that, that's kind of just, you know, the main reason why it's in the deck. It's a one of, it's a tech, uh, it's there for those situations. But, you know, just still getting 10k is nice in general. Um, but yeah, it's kind of just for those, oh, I, I need face down damage urgently. Run Lamarack. And got another promo, which is Knight of Ambitious Schemes, Degund, Degnud, Degnud, Degnud. At the beginning of your main phase, this gets 5k, and if you have no face-up card in your damage zone, you counter charge one. So the reason we're running this is because if you use up all your counter blast, and then the next turn your opponent damage denies you, or makes so you don't have a face-up damage to use for the next turn for alt miles skill you're going to have trouble searching things. Uh, if you don't have liver on hand, you're you're not going to be able to make a board. So, Degnod's skill makes it so that at the beginning of your main phase, you can counter charge. If you all face up dam face down damage, that way you can use all mouse skill, counter blast, search two grade twos, boom, get your field going. That's pretty much it. It's again, it's a one of. You pull it out when you need it, um, you intercept with it, and then you call it back out 
you know, later if you need it, if you think, oh, just in case I'm at five damage, if I know I'm going to survive the next turn, but I need to be able to counterblast again, pull this out, you know. So, good one of. Last but not least, Knight of Silence Galatine. It's a vanilla with 10k shield. Why are we running a vanilla? Well, if you're in a situation where you don't need the extra power and you don't need to build a board, you just need a grade 2 present, just call it Galatine. Because when you intercept, it's a 15k intercept. That extra 5 is going to matter one day, I promise you. And, you know, it's a one of, so why not? Just little interceptor. Just pull it out when you need it. Can't hurt. And then, you know, it's good when it's from hand, too. Nothing says that you gets when you intercept, your grade 2s get that extra shield. So you just call this from hand, boom, 15k shield. It's like a trigger. All right, we are done with the grade 2s. We're now moving on to the grade 1s. Got our four copies of Laurel Knight Sicilis. So this is basically the only grade one you want to ride, but if you don't end up riding it, not the end of the world. Vander Rear, if you don't have face-up damage, it gets 5k. And then the other skills, when it's placed from hand, Vander Rear, you look at the top five cards of your deck, look for a grade three, add it to your hand, and then if you did add a card to your hand, discard one and shuffle your deck. So kind of kind of the whole goal of the deck is to be on alt mile. So you want to kind of make sure that you get alt mile. <laughs> So definitely want to run four copies of this. Also, Heal Guardians are good search targets. If you don't find alt Mob, but you want to grab something for shield, that's a great target as well. Other than that, um, your board is going to be full of grade 2s, so you don't really want to have to keep this on your board, but it's still a good early game card. So definitely want to run four of it. Next up, more alt Mob support. We got Flourishing Knight Edith. So Edith's skills when it's placed, Soul Blast 1. You look at top seven cards of your deck, call an alt mile to the same column as this, and then its second skill is that at the end of the battle, this boosted a grade three rear guard. You put the boosted unit into your soul and you bounce Edith back to your hand. This just makes it way easier to set up for Ariel because Ariel needs an alt mile in the soul. So let's say you're on Ariel or you're on another grade two or something. You use Edith to call out another alt mile, doesn't matter which one, but if you had to choose, Choose the Blue Sky Knight just because if you have all face down damage, that's a big number, <laughs> you know? So you got 28 plus 8, 36k for this column. And then, whoop, there we go. And then, you know, at the end of that battle, you put the Blue Sky Knight into your soul, and then that way you're set up for Aerial Divine Knight for the next turn. Edith so is a great card. There's not a lot of other great ones you really want to run in the deck to, like, because, you know, you want to make space for the grade twos. But this card is a for sure four of, just for the fact that it sets you up for your aerial turns. So you definitely want to run four of this. Lastly is another new card from the Clan Collection, which is Knight of Going Alone, Harold. Uh, this, his name is great. I, I love the name of this card. When your, other, when your other grade two unit is placed other than from your hand, you move Harold to the soul, and that unit gets 15k. So Herald is really great because it gives you soul, which you need for alt mile skill, you need for Livero skill, and it just gives something 15k. Just, just to be a bigger number, why not, you know? So if you know you need to, uh, you need soul, but you know you're going to be able to like fill your board some way, somehow, or you want to make sure you have soul for the next turn, call, call Herald. Use all mouse skill, call two grade twos, move Harold to soul, give one of them 15k, and then easy peasy. So Harold's a great card. I only run two just because of space, and doesn't really do much to help out other than that as a booster on its own, so pretty decent card. Harold's great. So that was it for the normal units. Uh, now we're going to go on to our remaining grade zero triggers. Two PGs because we are running two Bellines crits. So these are this is our Sentinel lineup um, because your Vanguard is constantly searching out through the deck all the time. You're kind of prone to deck out if you keep drawing cards too much. So that's why we're reducing the draw value. But also, what's a really fun thing is. When you're swinging with Alt Mile first for to get your drive checks off, it's the only card on your board that will usually not have an extra crit or not have two crit. 
So your opponent is more likely to want to take the Vanguard because they need to block the other two grade twos. But if you're running extra critical triggers, you can just slap those crits right onto your Vanguard and then that just adds more pressure to your opponent. So just to keep that in mind, the remaining triggers is eight more crits. So basically you're running 10 critical triggers and two draws so that when you do do your drive checks, you're more likely to see crits than your opponent might think. But if they do see the Bellinus early, um, they might be like, oh shoot, crit reliant deck. I got a guard Vanguard too. So it's just to keep up the pressure. Um, and also that 30k shield is pretty dope. You just drop it down, you know, one card shield. Pretty nice. So that's pretty much it for the main deck. Um, and that's as much as I'll really say. Um, the only thing that I'll maybe stress is that when you go into your first alt model turn, the only things that come to mind is your search targets that you definitely want to pull out are your Hope Song, because your Hope Song pulls out your Starlight Vanillanist. The second thing that comes to mind for your other grade 2 target uh, would be either Robble, Oop. Robble. Uh, just because it also helps pay your costs and it helps you draw cards and fill your board more. Um, besides that, the only other grade 2 that I can think that comes to mind that you might want to, you know, just call out just to, you know, keep resources alive is Die Connect. Just for the soul charge and you just call into the same column etc um but yeah that's pretty much it um that's pretty much how i would go about it as the first stride but as the game kind of progresses you'll kind of get an idea of what you're looking for what you'll need and you just use your drop zone in your deck to search it out and that's what's really fun about this deck um hopefully i'll get a game in for you guys soon so you guys can see this deck in action um but besides that that's pretty much it Leave your comments, questions, concerns in the comment section below. Don't forget to like because it helps more people find the video and it helps the channel out a lot. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.